Welcome to Look Smarter Than You Are with Oracle EDMCS Subscriptions. I'm Steve Beltramo with NRL Consulting. EDMCS is a brand new product released in early 2018 that can help centralize, manage, and source metadata changes for multiple target applications. In July 2018, Oracle released a new feature in EDMCS called Subscriptions that will streamline the maintenance process even further. What subscriptions allow you to do is maintain a master application and push changes to subscribing applications, eliminating a lot of duplication of effort. Subscriptions have the flexibility to either push changes automatically or to have a middleman complete the process after being notified of the changes on deck. Once you know what to do, subscriptions are relatively easy to set up. First, consider what applications and dimensions make sense to share metadata. Perhaps you want the entity hierarchies in your planning and reporting systems to be perfectly in sync at all times. Or maybe you want the employees in your payroll system to be in the metadata for your workforce planning application. Maybe you've done an acquisition or a restructure that you want to reflect in multiple systems. Each of these cases could potentially benefit from the use of subscriptions in EDMCS. Once you've identified a candidate for using subscriptions, I recommend setting up a maintenance view to manage the dimensions if you haven't already set one up. A maintenance view allows you to compare dimensions viewpoints side by side. Node type converters provide a link between different nodes and provide a smooth transfer from one application to another. The last step is to set up a subscription from one point of view to another, a source viewpoint and a target viewpoint. This is where you determine if the changes are pushed automatically or require an interim step for a signee to submit the changes. In this video, I will show you a very simple example of how to use subscriptions to manage the entity dimension. This dimension will be maintained in a master application and changes will be submitted to two target applications, General Ledger and OAC. First, I'm gonna create a maintenance view. Actually, for this demonstration, I'll just modify the existing default view for the master application, but I could also create a new view using basically the same steps. To create the maintenance view, I want to add the entity viewpoints for both General Ledger application and the OAC application. Click on the ellipsis and select Inspect. Select the Definitions tab and click on Create. A box will open with a list of available applications and dimensions. We'll select General Ledger Entity and name the viewpoint. The same steps will need to be taken to add the OAC Entity to the Maintenance View. The Maintenance View has three tabs, one for each viewpoint. Entity from the Master Application, Entity GL, and Entity OAC, the two targets. You can view the Maintenance View in a side-by-side -side layout as well, which makes it nice to compare the viewpoints or even drag and drop members from one to another. Node type converters are easy to set up. Go to the Node Types menu and go to the Converters tab. The entity dimension has two node types, one for base nodes and one for the upper level hierarchy nodes. This setup accommodates different properties for the base and hierarchy nodes. We will want to set up a node type converter for each node type for each target dimension, so a total of four for this application. Click on Add, then select the source from the drop-down of available node types. Save the changes and repeat the process for all four. Now we can go back to our master maintenance view and set up subscriptions in each of the target views. First, let's go to the Entity GL viewpoint and inspect from the ellipsis menu. Then go to the Subscriptions menu and click on the Edit. Click Create and select a master entity viewpoint to subscribe to. Click OK and this will be where you set up Request Assignee and check the Auto Submit button if you want to do that. The Request Assignee will receive email notifications of changes and will need to take action to submit changes if their target application is not set up for Auto Submit. Save the changes and then repeat the process to subscribe to the master entity viewpoint from the Entity OAC viewpoint. Now that everything is set up, we can test out the subscriptions. Go to the Entity Viewpoint. This is from the Master Application. Click the New Request button on the right. Expand the Entity Hierarchy and we'll add a base member as a sibling. We'll select Entity Base Nodes as a node type. Then update the member name to Entity 3 and click on Submit. You may want to 
put your cursor someplace outside the yellow box before hitting submit. Sometimes there's a little delay and it can cause a, an error message upon submitting. A green check, of course, is good. If you receive errors, the messages should come up or you can look for them in the request details. You may need to make a change somewhere and resubmit or choose a parent. Now you can go to each of the target viewpoints and confirm that the new member was added. Now let's see what this looks like with auto submit turned off. Go back into subscriptions and uncheck auto submit. Note that the email alert sent to the request assignee says at the bottom, the request was not submitted because auto submit option was not enabled. So the requested assignee will need to go into the request and manually submit the request or make changes and then submit it. The request assignee can click on the request, which opens up the maintenance view. Here the request assignee can make any changes and hit submit, or if no changes, just simply hit submit. Requests may be viewed after they are processed and are a good way to view what changes have occurred. Details can be reviewed and attachments are stored. These can actually be modified to use as templates and then loaded up back up through a request. So that's a really basic description of subscriptions in EDMCS. Thank you for watching.